Hey, good morning, good morning, Dr. Rob Kiltz. How are you doing? Another awesome and amazing day in the universe and just sharing some thoughts and ideas of how to take care of the human Ferrari. That's right, we are Ferraris. Expensive, irreplaceable, valuable, and it's our responsibility to put only the right things in here and in here and taking care of this thing here. And we've all heard about the ketogenic diet and keto is king right now. And I'm going to share some ideas that are completely opposite of what we've been taught in how the body functions. This idea that we utilize glucose as the primary source of energy and then shift over to fat in order to go into ketosis, I believe is incorrect. That's right. I know I sound like a crazy man, but I believe we burn fat always. Acetyl-CoA, which is the necessary energy for the mitochondria, comes from fatty acids. And if your body cannot make fat, you're dead. I know. It's a crazy one, by the way. Basically, all this complex food goes into our belly and it's broken down in its, into its microscopic components and it's either simple sugar, amino acids, or fatty acids. And we do not eat fat. We eat a lot of protein and a lot of carbs and a lot of complex carbs and a lot of fiber. And all this stuff comes with bacteria and yeast and microorganisms that love all that stuff we put in here. The big digester, the septic tank, basically. And our body needs to digest all of this stuff. And we eat way too much, way too frequently, abundance and variety. And basically, all the amino acids and simple sugars are taken up by the GI system into the hepatic portal system and into the liver, where it's required to be converted to fat because the liver is a fat-making machine. And that's the primary function of the liver. It's nothing to do with detoxifying anything it's about making fat and if you don't make fat you're dead the get fat gene is the most amazing gene of the universe you got to have some you got to have some and if you don't have this stuff and it doesn't matter your size ever obesity is not the cause of the diseases it is simply the carbs and the protein in the excessive amounts and frequency and all the spices and all the bacteria and the yeast and all the fiber that we put into this amazing Ferrari, which basically we treat like a Yugo. No disrespect for those who built the Yugo, but basically a piece of shit car, Italian designed, hmm. workmanship and materials, and then those who purchased it didn't take care of it well because basically disposable. This body is not so simply disposable, I'm telling you, my friend. And you can't just throw anything. Fruit, fiber, vegetables, lean meat, deadly. Fiber, deadly. Probiotics, deadly. Your body, the Ferrari. And it is simple, right? You already have the DNA, all of us, but it's the environment that we have out there that we consume and put in here that causes all the indigestion. I know. This is crazy. Remember, all we're all in this ketosis kick, and I'm a keto king here, all right? And I talk about it as a label. It's like religions and politics and belief systems. There's lots of them, all right? And you could be a vegan, a vegetarian, a um, sad eater, Mediterranean. You pick it. Whatever you want to eat, you can eat it. But to understand simply, the body requires fat, and we don't eat fat. And fat is animal fat, I'm sorry. It's not coconut fat, it's not olive oil, it's not peanut oil, corn oil, avocado oil. Those are industrial man-made oils that are not nature's fats, all right? You can do it any way you want, but I'm gonna just share with you how the body works. It's simple, all the complex stuff goes into the digester. It's micronized, it's sent to the liver in order to be made into fat. Interesting enough, when you eat real fat, it goes to the lymphatics, it goes up into the thoracic duct, it dumps into the heart where it's distributed everywhere like that because it is the energy of our body. And I know we love to have uh, alcohol and 
all sorts of treats and all this fiber stuff and fruits and vegetables and all this antioxidants, it's likely mostly bullshit. I know. Now, I'm just a simple doctor. Standard American doctor is sometimes sad, and I was taught in a Western way, but what I've learned the Western way sometimes is not the right way. Very ancient traditions of eating less frequently, once a day at night. I know it's crazy. This stuff is the most amazing. We've seen diabetes, hypertension, cancer, arthritis, irritable bowel, even ADHD, and maybe, my bet is, yes, this is correct, even depression, anxiety, Alzheimer's are all related to inflammation. And inflammation is caused by glucose. And glucose comes from fruits, fiber, vegetables, lettuce, rice, pasta, bread, yogurt, milk. I know, this doesn't make sense. Kiltz's is keto is king. I call it the Lion King plan or the baby diet, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream. Again, we need a lot of oxygen, a lot of stuff from the air, right? We need a lot less water. Stop diluting the body with this bottles and bottles of bottles and plastic bottles of water. It is not good for you, right? Once a day at night, the Ferrari is already full with fat because that's the fuel tank. But when you eat carbs, the body thinks, oh my God, you better eat this now in order to get fat because the get fat gene is the best gene of the universe. And when you have cush and curves, you are sexy and beautiful and your size doesn't matter because it's not the fat, it's the carbs and all the shit you put in your belly that's quote healthy. Get away from the smoothies, the bars, the shakes. And if it's got a yellow label on it that says healthy or heart label that says healthy, it's a marketing ploy for you and I that is not so good. And I know Dr. Rob Kiltz doesn't make sense, does he? Try to keep it simple, as simple as possible. We all enjoy relationships and connections and much of well, the reason I share all this is for those connections. And you can be a vegan, a vegetarian or any food type you like. There are ways to do this is to simplify and do it a lot less frequency, frequently, one time a day at night, that's the home run. And again, get off the treadmill. Exercise is deadly for all of us. It, increases the heat in the body. Heat denatures DNA. It causes even more inflammation. And this is crazy stuff. I know that. My bet is that cancer is caused by the plant antigens, phytochemicals, the microbes that get in our body and love all the stuff in our bowels, and then the crown called the colon, which is this crown of inflammation in our gut that basically trashes the uterus, the ovaries, the tubes, the kidneys, the adrenals, the prostate, the testicles, and it's creating all these toxins that the liver does not know what to do with. Its job is not to clear it away as a detoxifier. The spleen and the pancreas are working 24 seven. Yes, as long as you eat complex carbs and you're eating them three to six times a day, you're basically secreting glucose into your bloodstream 24 seven, 365. And that glucose damages every nook and cranny of your body. And all those healthy carbs are micronized and dustified and sent everywhere in your body. It's such a simple concept, my friends. Now, I didn't believe this, but I did it. 62, stopped exercising and stopped eating that shit a long time ago. And I heard about it. And now that I've seen so many patients, uh, check out the CNY Fertility and Kiltz's Keto Facebook and Instagram and all these ideas. And basically, you and I are Ferraris, and we like to have a lot of abundance and variety in the food, in the relationships, and oh, you cannot have but one partner at a time. Because if you have multiples, it's deadly. Variety is deadly. And the Ferrari on the racetrack ends up in the junkyard faster than anything. It's a showroom we are in. This is life's showroom, by the way. Slow it down. Every day, start the day with thank you, God, for this awesome, amazing day. And remember, all of us have 
troubles and problems, and the universe is gifting those to all of us. Imagine that which you desire as if it already is, and it shall be that or even better. Up early, and what are you grateful? What's the plan of the day? Get up and go to work, go do something. Enough of what's wrong with you or me or any of us. We're all perfect and fine. It's simple. The universe wants you to get into trouble because that's how we reproduce, by the way. The trick of the universe is stand still and be kind and generous and loving to thyself in the mirror and all others in the universe. That's it. The mind, this is the powerhouse of the universe and put into that all the amazing, amazing connections of the universe. I got one book I've been reading and I know I'm stepping away from a minute, but uh, ooh, Neville Goddard, if you haven't read Neville, it's amazing and awakening imagination. And I know it goes from keto to mind to spirit to belief to something. It's all about our minds like our stomachs are wetted by change of food. Listen, <sighs> carbs are killers. I call them carbocaine. And when you get rid of the carbs and you get rid of the inflammation in the bowels, the best happens to you and I and all of us in the universe. This is Dr. Rob Kiltz, uh, Mind Body Smile, and just a little bit of Kiltz's Keto, which is king, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and it's ice cream too. And check out my recipe on uh, YouTube. Uh, have an awesome and amazing day. This is Dr. Rob Kiltz. God bless to you.